Hi everybody, right, just continuing off from the last episode, this is episode number 9 of my Let's Play No Man's Sky version 1.37 on the PlayStation 4. So last time we literally just met Artemis and we have to go and find a hollow projector or hollow transmitter or something um, so that's pretty much what we're going to do it and see if we can move the story on a bit hopefully be able to start looking at building what was that no it was that there was something else there okay right so Hollow Terminus, here we come. I'm just going to check the sound effects volumes as well. Yeah, so the sound effects, I've turned the sound effects down so my voice should be coming up through a bit louder. I had one or two uh, messages saying that my voice was a bit low, but that was also due to the fact that I wasn't well, so... Um, but I'm feeling better now, and looking forward to progressing with the story. Be good if I could go to the shops this quick. <laughs> right, so the Hollow Terminus... I think we're going to speak again to Artemis and then hopefully I think there's one more warp to the um, at, is it Atlas building or something like that oh boy <laughs> coming in hot that could have been nasty alright so, where is it? Cool. I must admit, the buildings are really well done. I mean, I love the fact that it's raining, you know, and like the planets are different. Actually, I quite like the colouring as well. Colouring's brilliant. You know, I, I give the, the developers and the designers a lot of credit for the, the time it must have taken for all the texturing and stuff. You know, it's definitely, definitely a very good looking game. I mean, I know it got a lot of bad press and stuff. Um, you know, which is understandable, I suppose. There was a lot of things that were thought were going to be in the game that never actually appeared in the game, you know. I mean, for me, actually, the game so far has been okay. I wish they had done the initial tutorial a bit different. Like, when you first start, it would have been nicer to basically start off with, like, um, you know, this is a building on the planet. Um, oh dear. Hang on, a bit of management here. Um, right, I can charge that up to get rid of some of my iron. Oh, my thrusters. Yeah. Uh, anything else I can stack? I, I really need to get a a better. Um, ship for managing my inventory. Uh, nanites. Incoming storm. Cool. <laughs> Great. Incoming storm just when I'm about to climb up here. I wonder if I can make it up there. Oh yeah. Get in. Mm 
I mean, I think this is. I must need to go up to the top. Um, just a second. I'm just checking something. Uh, right. Sorry about that. Right. Oh, I'm dying. What? I need to fix it. Charge. Shield and plate. Shield and plate. I hope I don't get damaged while I'm here. Right, hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communica <coughs> communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to re establish the connection to Artemis. Right, tune to Artemis's frequency. I try to locate Artemis's frequency, uploading the data from our previous com communication. Cool. There he is. Who is there? You is you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Uh, ask what they mean. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to fabricate a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. <laughs> what was it calling them names? <laughs> Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveller of worlds, aren't you? Uh, yeah, ask what a traveller is. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself, slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness I hear it said, Anomaly detected, designation traveller. Okay, awaken. What I showed you just now, it was already inside of you. We are all born with this memory, even if we don't know how we lost it. We are the travellers, we are the fourth race, discoverers of worlds. How long did it take you to realise you were different? From the moment you woke, you must have sensed something. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to find others of our kind, to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crash ship? Yes, I do. I uploaded my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crash vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll finally get out of this hellhole and you'll get all the answers you seek. Sound like a deal? Yeah, why not? Thank you, Traveller. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Okay. Right, I need to get back to my ship very quickly. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Storm clearing. Typical. Storm clears just when I'm trying to get back to my ship. <laughs> right. So what's next then? I have to build transmitters. Okay. Where is my um? What am I looking for? I'm looking for objectives. Right. Upgrade the exosuit. Okay. 
visit several planets and build signal boosters. So, what does a signal booster cost to make? Uh, save point, signal booster. Okay. Now, do I activate it? Okay, triangulate position. Position logged, ready for next position. Um, so do I just fly to another planet, I take it? Uh, suitable triangulation position located. Make your way to the triangulation site, which is where? Ah, okay, it's up here. Aha. Alright, let's get this one done. Actually, I want to try and get through the story quite quickly. Um, so that I can get to the base building part. Which is actually something that I've been looking forward to do for a while. You know, so... Once we can get, if we can get these other triangulation points sorted. I mean, it's not too bad if I can get, if I can get the, the, the main part of the story done, get to the first Atlas uh, station, I think it was called. Then, um, once I've done that, I'll maybe have a look and see if I can find a planet. If I can find a decent planet, I might actually get a planet that's got the odd storms and stuff, because I quite like the effect the storms do. Uh, then I can look at the, the base building. And I was reading somewhere as well that there's vehicles and stuff that you can use to travel about on the planet. So, quite looking forward to that. Uh, so far the game's actually, you know, the game's pretty good there's aspects of it that they, they could definitely change but um, it's, it's definitely worth playing I mean considering that I picked it up very cheap you know I'm definitely not disappointed <coughs> coming in for a landing <laughs> Right, so what have we found? Waypoint detected. So what is this? Nice planet, actually. Right, save and chart. <coughs> I think I'm actually going to have to find more plutonium. Um, so is this a building that I can actually go into? Oh, well, I can. Oh. Speak of the devil. Woohoo! Is that one over there? Yep. Nothing found. Eh, typical. Right. A little, little dude. Right, so that's carbon, carbon. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I still need to learn quite a lot of the language as well. Uh, life forms eyes widen in surprise when I go to talk to it. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. They have very clearly never seen anything quite like me before. I mind that I cannot speak their language and, increasingly reassured, the beat trader indicates that they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Uh, I suppose I'll give him silicate, what does that do? The grateful trader clicks his beak. They teach me some of the dialect of their people. Alright, cool. You've learned the get word for destroy. You've learned the get word for friend. Okay. Can I talk to you again? The trader indicates that they are open for conversation with a click of their beak and a sweet smelling gas emission. They just fart. <laughs> Teaches me a word of the language. Despair. Ooh, right. 
So, what's this? Observatory. Uh, one two one two two one two one one two one two. I'm guessing two one two one. Okay, I didn't know there was going to be a number of puzzles like that. Right. Okay. Uh, build a signal booster. Right. I don't know if I've got enough to actually build one. Signal booster. There we go. Okay, it must be learning language or something. Uh, learn 10 words. That's not bad. That's respectable. Uh, met six aliens. Woohoo! Right, so... Triangulate position. Position log ready for next position. Right, so let's go and find... Where's my ship? Where is my ship? Aha, there's my ship. Whee! Right, where's my next position then? Oh, other side, up that way. Good on there with my controls. That was a bit. Uh, I don't know, for some reason it went a bit weird there. And it keeps, always keeps coming back to. Ah, oh, there we go. So this has got what? Al albumin pearls, star bulbs, and something else. Emerald, necro, and iridium. This actually might be a good planet to settle down on. Lush planet. Well, let's have a quick look. Space, the final frontier. <laughs> I don't know, I think if I was travelling like this all the time it would make me sick. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight. No wonder they say it's lonely in space. It'd take ages to travel from A to B. That must be in the equivalent of like a Skoda or something, you know. It's like I watched a couple of videos the other day and, you know, there was people flying about as fast as you like, you know, they were in the, the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis, whereas I, I'm in the, the crappy little slowest ship in the planet, you know, or in the universe. Uh, the timer's going up rather than down. Hello. See, I like that effect when you're going through, when you get into the atmosphere and stuff. Right, last time I came out of this, I ended up crashing into the side of a, a hill <laughs> or a mountain. And I think once I land, I'm probably going to have to round the episode off there. I would like to have got all of the initial uh, points done first, but, you know, the way it goes. Whoa! That was close. Right, come on. Alright, let's see. Right, hang on. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the episode off here. Um, just like to say thanks for watching, and you know, if you get any hints, tips, or comments or anything, stick them down below. You know, and if you feel like it, subscribe. I'm going to try and put up more videos on a more regular or more frequent basis. Um, you know, it's, I'm looking at what other games to maybe start playing as well and do some some dis different ones side by side. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.